it's almost 2023 and you better believe I am going to be redoing my vision board now with some decisions and life changes that I have made. So now that I've let go of the company I'm in and network marketing, obviously this vision board isn't really going to do much. Like, and I already kind of noticed, let me show you. Like this quote right here the most, I feel like me again. By the end of the year, I do feel like me again. So I'm gonna make it more like a mood board. I am going to captivate and tr find things that are going to like symbolize this year, this new coming year, the 2023, the vibe I want. The I'm not gonna set major goals, but I'm going to set a mood. So buckle along, this is my process of making the vision board and all of that. Let me show you what I have. All right, so today I went to the Dollar Tree and I got me a glue stick, because obviously how are the elves are all this gonna stick? Some new pens filled up on my Sharpies, but stickers, 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 stickers. I got more stickers. These are the new ones, LOL. Um, I, I have mixed thoughts about LOL because of the whole Pizzagate situation. If you know, you know. If you don't know, then I sound like a crazy person. Then if you do know, leave in the comments you know about Pizzagate. Holy smokes. But anyways, I think the little fashion girls will be really cute on my vision board, okay? So not only do I have that, but I figured these cute little... They're very basic, obviously. But I could kind of color block and make a cool design that's another thing to make a design i had these from last year but i never used them so i'm gonna use these for obvious reasons got me letters got some crayons let me see if that stuff pops out and by the way the color of your vision board or mood board does matter so I did green because this is a new beginning. This is a new thing that I'm doing. So not only is the vision board, not only is like the mood board new to me, but I'm not walking in with network marketing under my belt. I am like literally just starting all over career rise and still trying to figure out how to do it from being a stay at home mom. So where there's a will, there is a way. And that is going to be one of the affirmations of 2023. But also, here is where I'm getting all of my pictures and content. And thanks to my mama, who is a big old magazine reader, I have literally a whole bag of just magazines. And right now, first step it to literally just go through it all and get my quotes i think i'm gonna put celebrities that i look up to celebrities that i admire celebrities that have have something i want without that sounding i mean that in the most humble way but like maybe putting out some of these celebrities on there will help pop culture help it just seems like an avenue that I want to go down. So you know what? Let's go down a little rabbit hole. I'm literally, the next step is me just going through, what, 20 something plus magazines and just getting, just figuring out what my vibe is. I kind of have an idea, but you never know what the magazines are going to give you. So buckle up. And one very, very special special part in all of this spiritually because I'm definitely going to manifest the feeling. Burn some Palo Santo while you're at it. Saying it will take out all the negative. It will keep all the positive that you've already built all of your frequency. And if anything, it will just kind of like cement that positivity. It will lock it in. It will keep it stable all the things and hi to the William he's on vacation he's asking me to change the remote so on that note no let me go be a mom and we will you will literally we'll, we'll get going on to the next thing
giggle about something, okay? Let me show you. I'm over here. I see something <laughs> pink, pregnant with her second child. I'm sitting here going, wait a minute. I thought her second child's got to be like five or six or whatever, right? This goes back to 2016, y'all. Yeah. Apparently, my mom has been holding on to magazines since 2016. Now, here's the fun fact. Let's see if we find any other ones that are even dating back even further than 2016. Now, this is just going to turn into a really funny video at this point. So, thanks, Mom, for this. But, yeah. All right, so let's get back into it. For 2003 making creation whatever you want to call it because <laughs> after I got done with all those magazines which by the way I didn't record all of that you can see it was very little but technically it was like two plus hours of going through it and then I threw them out and I woke up this morning going oh shoot there's that one picture of Kim Kardashian I should have gotten that one is like a more current but it is what it is I have what I have I'm gonna go into my happy planner and use some of that stuff I am going to handwrite some stuff we're going to you're gonna come along with me with the process for sure so let's set up basically let's go set up <laughs> into how I have it all broken down into the different media, the different art, artsy stuff, what I kind of have an idea compared to how it's going to turn out. So, let me show you. So, when it comes to pictures and the magazine content, it's like three different sections. This is like, um, I do want to farm, I'm not going to lie. I do want a farm, so I'm like, oh, okay, picture of a farm, farm animals, let's get that on there. I want to travel, I want to see amazing things, so let's get that envisioned on the board. I have my quotes from magazines and stuff like that. I have my celebrities, honestly, I wish I had more to add to it, so maybe throughout the year I'm going to leave space and just add to it. So I have the stickers, and I have my glue, I have my markers and writing utensils, so it's like a, like a combination of like stickers, I still I have to add Happy Planner to that, but it's gonna be a combination of stickers, handwritten stuff, um, magazine pictures, whatever, so. Let's see what my hands and mind create.
fell down and it's hanging out. There she is. There is my 2023 mood board. Definitely gonna be pop culture heavy. Don't know what's gonna happen between me and these celebrity these year. This vivid pet, what are words? I do not know what's gonna happen be, with me and these celebrities this year. But something's gonna happen. Manifesting some trips. Hey, music festival. You know? Ina forever is my like. Martha? And Ina, like when it comes to why I want to have like a fun house type setting, it's those two girls. I have some of my rogue on and all the things, but there she is. She's all done. I could check this off and now focus for the rest of the year. All right, now that you've seen me do mine, have you done yours yet? Have you even thought of doing yours? Are you going to do like a vision board and set goals? I have a small goal, but it's very much, and it's not a small goal, but it's like a distance goal. There's no way I see myself moving into a farm this year with everything that's going on. But it's something to put into the universe. So what are you putting into the universe? What are you going to make happen this year? What does your vision board look like? All the things. So leave it in the comments. Let's, I want to, I want to know. I'm nosy, okay? I'm nosy. Call me a Karen if you want. 